Hi, this is Elders, Words of Wisdom, a podcast from the National Resource Center for Alaska Native Elders at UAA. Today's show is a short one. At the NRC A&E, we've started up a traditional food series which will be hosted on our website. We're going to provide resources on how to prepare a variety of traditional Alaska Native meals, which will include videos, text recipes, infographics, and podcasts. This episode will be talking about our first recipe, salmon cakes. We'll be working with Chef Flora Deacon, who you may remember from our previous episode. Here's Flora to talk a bit more about salmon. I grew up along the Inoko River, so I remember my parents, every summer, we ate fish every day. And they would um, smoke and dry fish every day. So salmon was really central to our diet. And it pretty much stayed that way. Even today, if I went home, somebody would always bring us salmon. And my mom would always remember to send my sister and I jarred salmon whenever she could. Or if we went home to visit, we would leave with like a case of salmon it's so central to the way we look at food it's really kind of at the core of where we come from as flora puts it salmon is very much an important part of her family and community culture she told me her favorite way to prepare salmon is the half dry process and a little bit about her mother's method on doing it when she does it, she does it herself. And she will uh, brine it some like 60 minutes or 30 to 60 minutes, you know, depending on how salty she wants it. She has to hang it right away. And the sun has to be shining or she has to have uh, adequate cover on the, on the uh, poles that she has outside so it won't rain on it. And it has to have adequate air circulation and she has to cut it just right because if she is not careful the bugs will have a way to deposit their eggs she's done it so many years you know she's 82 so and then when they're adequately dry enough from the air outside then she will bring it inside the smokehouse to really begin the smoking process. So yeah, it'll take a few days for the half dry to be ready to eat because there's so many steps, but that is by far is like um, the best in the world. Flora noted to me that this method of processing salmon was passed down to her mother from her grandmother. And she did it um, just by watching and that's what she expects of us so we would just watch her and it really is true because i went to culinary school on the east coast in vermont and that's about as far away as you can get from you know your culture so we had to go through charcuterie and we had to um cut fish and cut different animals and and I was in charge of um, filleting the salmon and it was I was really kind of surprised at how well I did it and that wasn't something I did because you know I didn't live at home until I kind of moved I moved away when I was when my when high school started and I never moved back I visited but I've always lived, you know, in Anchorage or, you know, the bigger cities. And just from watching my parents, I did a really excellent uh, job of filling that salmon and then smoking it. Yeah, I remember the chefs telling me, "Um, you've done this a while, haven't you? And, 
know, but I just watch my parents. Our first recipe is on a specific type of preparation for salmon, and that's salmon cakes. Flora says while salmon cakes aren't necessarily a traditional way that salmon is prepared, it's a pretty common method these days. And it's also become what a lot of people do nowadays. You know, just this is a new way of um, making it new again versus eating uh, a baked salmon from yesterday. You just make it into something else. And it's a great use of leftover salmon. If there was leftover king salmon, that would be probably the ultimate salmon to use. And the second would be silver salmon. You could really add so many other things to salmon cakes to really make it. Uh, you could load it up with vegetables. You know, more vegetables. And um, you could put um, bell peppers, onions. Flora also offered some more advice to elder caregivers out there who want to incorporate salmon into meal plans. I would, um, you know, bake the salmon first because a lot of elders really love baked salmon. And you don't have to, like, dress it up too much, um, you know, just plain. You could add salt and pepper to it. You know, maybe you could put some lemon over the top. Um, maybe you could rub it with some oil to keep the oven from drying it out too much. If they had leftovers, you know, they could, you know, they could put it in their, um, make salmon patties out of it. So that's all for today. If you'd like to try out Flora's salmon cake recipe for yourself, head to our website where we have some more background information, downloadable text files, an infographic, and a video showing you step-by-step -step instructions on how to make them. Stay up to date with our video series in NRC a &E News by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the salmon cakes. I'm Thomas Moore with the National Resource Center for Alaska Native Elders.